Hey Scorpio, welcome to your Lion's Gate portal reading. This is going to be a quickie. I have a full extended reading for you up on my website, illustluminator.com. You can find the links in the description box below. This is going to be a short reading to see what is coming in for you. Okay, I do sense for you guys that you've been very successful at an event or organizing something and you're getting a lot of attention but with that i think there are also some trolls coming around there are people that are watching you online that um, are a little bit jealous and envious of your success here for you and i feel like you're starting to realize who this person is for some of you this person may have made a false account or is commenting um beneath your pictures or whatever it is that you are posting online and i feel like you're starting to realize who that person is uh, for many of you i see that your hard work okay is there too many cards that your hard work is being paid off here and you are definitely reaching a new newfound success here i do see that many of you are a little bit stressed in regards to the speed of this um success but I do feel like many of you are underestimating the hard work that you're already putting into a project. So be patient with yourself. Be patient with the process, okay? Like don't allow fears or any type of negativity to really cloud your vision here. Right now, I feel like many of you are working on your self-worth and your self-value. Spirit wants you to know that you are good enough at whatever you're doing. Even if the results are coming in slowly, they are going to come in and you are going to get the recognition that you've been seeking for. But there is something that is really bothering you or stressing you out lately. Uh, and I feel like it's, it's, it all has to do with the investment that you have made, either it's in, in a project or it is in a, in a relationship. Uh, you may feel like... I really get that you're... Um, you're not quite sure with someone in your life, like whether you should proceed with them or not. There are a lot of questions, there are a lot of doubts whether this person is going to fulfill you, fulfill your needs. They are moving quite slowly for you. Exactly. I feel like many of you have been holding back on speaking also about your own feelings towards this individual. Uh, you may also feel like they are holding back some type of truth or that they are disguising something and you're trying to figure out what that is exactly. But I do sense that your, your throat chakra is going to be activated around this time. So you may have like sore throat or you have the urge to really speak up or confess or express your truth or your authenticity. It could be in regards to, um, to a group of people or it could be in regards to one specific person in your life. Uh, I do see that for many of you, you're very guarded. You don't want to show your vulnerability. However, it's very, very important for you to speak up about something that matters to you, something that matters to your heart, all right? Uh, and you're probably a little bit afraid that you will cause a little bit of a storm once you do speak up, right? Like once you are straightforward and bold towards that person, or maybe blunt, that there will be some chaos that you can expect. But I feel like this chaos will be solved quite quickly. Uh, I do see that the energies are really gaining here. Like th there is an accumulation of a lot of energies that are going on. So you could feel very tense. You could feel very agitated. You could feel like, you know, your inner truth wants to be speaking up in regards to whatever it is that you've been ho holding back to. And I feel like once you do that, you will definitely move forward with full speed, speed ahead. Uh, stay determined on on your path here, all right? <clears throat> okay. For some of you... Oh, what is this? Hold on. For some of you, you may be wanting to tell a person that you want to split, okay? Like, it could be some type of divorce or some type of ending, a glitch. Uh, you feel like you can trust this person. That's what I feel like. You you don't feel like you can trust this individual, okay? If you weren't afraid, what would you do? 
the warrior woman so something is really holding you back and i want to know a little bit more it seems very um very much in disguise okay you're holding a lot of things inside right now is what i'm really picking up on what is this what is this uh warrior woman oh yeah five of swords and the knight of cups so some of you are questioning someone's integrity you're questioning their um, if, if they are really coming forward with authenticity and with the five of swords i think that there has been a lot of like mind games uh, being played back and forth and you may feel like this person is being quite selfish in an argument or they kind of like come in just to get what they want emotionally from you and they kind of like leave you a little bit high and dry here filled with anxiety and this could be definitely in regards to love at this point. Yeah, Tower, Ten of Swords, and the King of Pentacles is really time for you to step up here and to face reality. There is some type of like upheaval or a shakeup or some type of deceit that is coming to light. And this is going to, you know, bring you actually more stability because you are going to know who you can depend on and who not. So Scorpio, I feel like you're on the last edge here. Like it's time for you to really face your fears, um, face this conversation and, and kind of like get over with that conversation with whomever it is that you are dealing with. You have the hate of wands here as well. So good luck on that, my friends. Good luck on that. Let me know how this resonated and I'll catch you guys in the next one for the full August portal reading. You can find it in the description box below. I'll catch you soon. Take care.